Now, unfortunately, we've seen stories like Officer Scott's attack before. When they happen, we give you the details, but we felt there was much more to say about the officers themselves. That's why I went searching. I got special access to take you inside the same prison where the attack happened. It's a look few have seen in our special segment, More to the Story. It's clock-in time for Officer James Crandall, and let's just say it's a process. To you, it may bring thoughts of your last flight, but the trip he's taking will be the farthest thing from a vacation. Once I get to my post, once I, you know, put on the uniform, I, this is me. This is officer me. This isn't civilian me. So at that point, it's my behavior, my mannerisms, everything's changed. And today, we got to go along. This is Officer Crandall's stomping grounds. It's basically like any other industrial-sized kitchen. But here, the chefs are inmates, and the boss is Crandall. Yes, sir! What's on the menu? A balanced lunch, and that is it. Absolutely no special ingredients. Crandall makes sure. The last one that I remember, there was, a, there was I believe, a cell phone device in our, the package of peanut butter. It doesn't happen often, and that's because he's thorough, very thorough checking everything, every space, every door, virtually every item. He can't afford a slip up. I never feel comfortable. No matter where I'm at, I never try to be comfortable. You don't want to be comfortable. And following him, the last thing we feel is comfortable. We shadowed his every move near burning ovens and chilly freezers, tight spaces. We were moving seamlessly in and out of men, all convicted of felons, it was enough to make us think of the numbers. Obviously, one against possible 45 to 50 is not great odds for anybody. So we asked him how he gets through it day after day, knowing disaster could strike at any time. I just handle myself in a way that I'm going to be, I'm in charge of my own safety. An answer that we can clearly see with every measured step he takes and every order he gives. Real quick, can I get you to exit the area? Just when our feet got tired, Officer Crandall stepped it up. More searching and perhaps the most careful moment, roll call. Stay on the wall. It's already a full day's work, but as we've said, it's only lunchtime. Dinner's next, and that means a redo of everything. It's simply who he is, if only while inside these prison walls. My biggest passion is, you know, being relied on by other people, being the best I can. And that carries over into my work, so yeah, I'd say there's a passion for it. This is every day, from clock in to clock out. Then Officer Crandall turns back into Jim. I really just don't think about it. It's one way to get past all of it, and as soon as I walk out, I don't even, unless like somebody says it, I don't even realize I work here. It's. It's just I'm a completely different person. It's a daily dose of danger, a trip he doesn't hesitate to take, making sure security and safety always get to their proper destination. You've seen a typical day in prison, one where things go smoothly, but what happens when they don't? In the second part of our series, you'll see the makings of a riot. How do officers like James Crandall respond? It's tomorrow.